What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, there is a thought that has been on my mind lately, and uh, I figured I would share it with you, uh, even though it might be to my, to my detriment. Um, but it is regarding cards that I'm actually considering purchasing. And I know we talk about Chaos Legion cards, Rift Watcher cards, me not having a max deck, and of course, the all new, shiny, brand new set, Rebellion. But I'm actually looking at some of the older cards. And obviously, namely, specifically, Byzantine Kitty. Uh, maybe you can include Yoden in there, right? But there's something about Byzantine Kitty that really just clicked for me recently. And I know like it's been obvious maybe for a lot of people, but just to have it be be thought so explicitly within my brain, it made me realize what the true value of this card is. Uh, and what I mean by that is obviously true strike, right? Uh, you know, having having the uh, the tank heal and the speed is is super clutch, but true strike is really what makes this card amazing. And when I had to break it down, the reason it makes this card amazing is because it removes RNG, literally the bane of my existence, and I'm sure the bane of many other people's existence. When you when you have that that game, that match, that battle that you should win, and you don't because dumb stuff happens and you miss, right? Even though it's like a one speed difference or even whatever the case is, right? The the probabilities were on your side, yet the RNG came and screwed you. Well, for the most part, Kitty removes that RNG, right? I mean, there's still other elements of like, will you stick the affliction or the poison or things like that or the stun, but actually placing a hit with True Strike, I mean, that's, that is the battle, right? You are trying to, uh, you know, d kill your enemies and <laughs> destroy, destroy your enemies on the battlefield. And so therefore, if you know you're going to hit them every time, it's just a matter of putting in the appropriate lineup. So why am I all of a sudden looking at Kitty sitting here, you know, at per BCX prices under a hundred bucks? And thinking to myself, should I go for a card like this? And I'm not telling you to, I'm not even saying that I will necessarily, right? And you can see here, there's only 11 cards on the market. And when you count up the BCX, there's one max copy going for $105 per BCX. And then you could probably scrape together another max copy uh, based on that. Let's see. If I go all the way down here and I were to click them all, there are 26 BCX. So not even two and a half full kitty, you know, Byzantine kitty cards. So again, the reason for this is I'm, I'm thinking long-term, I'm thinking future-proof, right? And I'm wondering to myself, okay, every time a new set comes out, am I going to drop, you know, five to $10,000 on that new set, right? I'm not even talking about mini sets, but the new sets just to stay in modern format. And I, that's kind of hard for me to justify. So I wonder if in the long term, and when I'm talking about long term, you know, we'll say like in the over the next like you know 18 to 36 months, at some point after Chaos Legion rotates out, will I maybe become more of a wild player and have access not just to you know wild, which is obviously overridden with bots, but maybe the ranked update or the ranked overhaul could fix some of that. But there's also going to be all of these older tournaments where you'll have or wild tournaments where you'll have access to these older cards. And it just got me thinking about the fact that like, well, Kitty still has a lot of value if you go and play in some of those tournaments. Now, granted, something that I, I again, I don't play at the highest levels. So maybe maybe I'm I know that I'm kind of speaking out of, out of turn here. So I'm, I'm hopefully using this as a way to get some feedback from you guys that do play at the higher levels, because I'm curious to know, is Kitty still as powerful as she used to be. And the reason I the reason I ask is because I know there were many times that I was actually able to beat Kitty before Rebellion came out, right? You had Kelia, you had Lux Vega, then we had some of the newer summoners like Yasik with a plus two speed. So there are certain things that, you know, obviously uh, were, were balancing for the game, but I still look at someone like Byzantine Kitty and like I said, maybe to an extent, even someone like Yoden and think to myself, okay, long-term, future-proofing, are the cards at their lowest value now? And by lowest value, I mean, you know, they they have been reduced, uh, sorry, removed from modern format. We already see how land is working. We know that the cards are still quite powerful. So it's not even like, should I buy them because I think they're going to go up in value? It's just, should I buy them because maybe they're just going to stay there and hold their value or at least earn me back value in the game by participating in some of these wild tournaments and brawls and things like that in the future. So again, it's just been a thought that's been on my mind lately. You know, this is obviously a very scarce card here, and it's been one of the best cards in the history of the game for a very specific reason, uh, as I was alluding to earlier with the True Strike. 
And so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of seduced by, by, by actually getting a kitty. Maybe I don't even get it max level, right? Maybe I just get it for gold and see how things play out from there. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. Just figured I'd share that thought kind of out loud and we'll see. Maybe somebody's going to, you know, take this and run with it again. This is not financial advice. I'm not saying to go and do it. I'm, I'm purely looking at this from a gaming standpoint of like, how do I future proof myself for the game to be able to play at certain levels or high levels, right? And so that's just, that's just where my head is at. You know, Kitty, Yoden, I don't know, maybe even Llama, who knows? But uh, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.